Perfect match Meghan Markle and Harry's marriage is for life, declares Diana's butler. Princess Diana's closest confidant Paul Brill has declared that Meghan Markle is a perfect match for her son Prince Harry, the former butler who became the princess's rock suggested their marriage will long outlast Charles and Diana's. He dismissed controversial claims by feminist author Germaine Greer that Meghan Markle was only marrying Prince Harry for his money and would soon bolt amid the boredom of royal life. Burrell, 59, questioned the Australian author's motives for knocking Meghan. What I would say is, why would Mise Greer, when she is promoting a new book, want to criticize Meghan Markle? That's obviously why she is doing it. She is just generating headlines to try to sell her book, he said. He dismissed her claims, saying Los Angeles-born actress Meghan, who starred in the U.S. TV legal drama Suits and has appeared in several films, had made her own success in life before meeting the fifth in line to the throne. She's a professional woman, so why knock her? This girl has barely got started. You could see from the television interview they gave when they got engaged that they are clearly two people very much in love. What a contrast with Prince Charles and Diana's engagement interview. If Diana had someone to love and cherish her like that, she'd still be here today, he said. With her beside him, they can fulfill Princess Diana's dream. They're a double act. Burrell said he could see that Harry, who had never got over his mother's death when he was 12, had found true love and someone with whom he could identify because of their similar interests and humanitarian work. Meghan was the perfect choice to help him carry on his mother's legacy. She is 36, the same age as his mother was when she died, she's a professional woman, a humanitarian, I think the first conversation they had was about what she wanted to do to help other people, that rang a bell with him. It reminded him of his mother. Her previous career will also come in handy. She's joined the biggest soap opera in the world. She's done her apprenticeship in suits and now she's just been cast in the biggest role she has ever had, he said. Even the Queen has been known to describe her job as acting when she is in private. The Queen has often said to me, what costume should I wear today, Burrell said, but when she is back behind closed doors she is back as a wife mother and grandmother. He suggested Harry and Meghan's shared interests and their desire to help improve people's lives around the world would cement the May 19th marriage at George's Chapel, Windsor, and make it last. The younger royals cocoon at Kensington Palace, away from prying eyes inside Buckingham Palace, will also mean they face less of the stifling interference that Greer cited as a reason for a quick divorce. But Burrell warned that Meghan would still need to find a support network of friends or family to handle the pressure cooker atmosphere inside the royal family. The family side of that may be difficult, unlike for Kate, who has the support of the tight-knit Middleton family. Meghan is close to her mother, Doria Ragland, but she lives half a world away in Los Angeles and relations with much of the rest of the family are strained or non-existent. I'm sure her friends will be Prince Harry's friends at first but that will change, he said. She needs to grow her own nucleus of friends. She just needs to have people around her she can trust. Burrell, whose own two boys were playmates for Harry and his brother Prince William when they were young, said he thought Harry and Meghan would end up with a large family, drawing on his memories of how they were when they were younger. As children, he and William both said they would have large families. I predict Meghan will be pregnant before Christmas, I bet William will have four. Both William and Harry wanted to have more brothers and sisters when they were young but it wasn't to be, he said. Burrell, who divorced his wife Maria after 32 years of marriage and married his soulmate Graham Cooper last year after coming out as gay, hailed Harry and Meghan's intention to campaign for gay rights through the Commonwealth, where 36 of the 53 nations still criminalize homosexual acts. That's a tough job, you can force laws to be changed and tell countries what to do but over time countries can change, even the royal family can change, he said, recalling how both William and Harry were schooled in gay rights by their mother at an early age. She taught the boys about gay rights, 
I remember Elton John and David Furnish coming to Kensington Palace for lunch with Diana and the boys and they were wearing rings. William asked about same-sex marriage and she explained that they loved each other. Diana was before her time. I remember when we were in Angola on the landmines campaign, Diana saying to me, All our souls weigh the same. We are all equal. Her crusades and her emotional torment inside the royal family eventually created a more tolerant approach inside the firm that makes Harry and Meghan's marriage more likely to survive, according to Burrell. We are talking about a woman in 2018. We are not talking about a woman in 1981, he said. Diana paved the way for the next generation of royal women. She created the path for Kate and Meghan. If Diana came around now she would have a better chance of surviving. He predicted that the couple would be freer than William and Kate to pursue their own campaigns and crusades and in time, when the Cambridge's children are grown up, Harry and Meghan might not even need to be full-time working royals, he said. I can see them living in America for a part of the year, fulfilling Diana's dream, he said. She always wanted to have a house in America. But whatever they do, Wherever they go, Diana will always be with Harry and his brother, Burrell said. When Harry and William are standing in that chapel on May 19th, their thoughts will turn to the one person who won't be there but she will be there in spirit.